Hi again lovely boat fans, this is Tim from Boatship Brighton Yacht Brokers for the, uh, the second video of two in virtual reality looking around the interior of this Princess 30DS. Now it is a virtual reality video which means that all you need to do is touch and drag your screen or click and drag your screen up down left right whenever you like and you can look around this boat whenever you like wherever you like you don't have to look where I'm looking. I will warn you if I'm going to move the camera so you can avert your eyes if you wish because some people do report sensitivity to the movement of the camera and if I do that I will let you know when the camera has been placed back down again and you can revert back to me and we can continue the tour together but let's hope that doesn't happen because I'd really like you to enjoy this uh, this interior tour so we're on this uh, 1980s Princess 30 DS cruiser and we've uh, looked at the cockpit and the saloon in a different video and I brought you down here so down three steps through the really nice easy traversed uh, easily traversed companionway into the main saloon dining area and uh, as you can probably guess you're sitting right on the saloon table here and you're in the dining area on the port side and to starboard we've got the galley which I'll talk about in a moment but let's concentrate on the dining area for now so we've got the uh, nice large table we've got seating forwards we've got seating aft I, I would suspect that's for two each side so uh, four in total We've got uh, stowage all the way along the port side, so nice lockers there for all your bits and pieces. Probably about uh, about six to eight inches deep there, but uh, we always need lots of stowage on board, don't we, everybody? You'll notice we have 240 volts, so we have an inverter on board, so you can plug yourself in when you're... Uh, when you're alongside which is very very nice and uh, also you'll notice we've got the windows port and starboard with curtains too and the windows uh, to port open and there an opening window here above the galley I think yes there's an opening opening window there too so uh, again lots of light in here feels nice and fresh <coughs> excuse me on the uh, after bulkhead here which is just below the helm console as you can see we've got really good access to the wiring on the helm console as well so very nice and handy indeed when you're uh, tracing those problems if they happen and we've got big stowage binnacles under the after seat and another big stowage binnacle under the forward seat which is slightly encroached upon by the fridge which you won't be able to see from where you are but we have the the ubiquitous boat fridge under there which is rather nice <coughs> also floor is very nice and easily kept clean you could drop a carpet onto that if you wanted to we've got good access uh, into the bilge in there which is really really great and it just feels like there's plenty of room down here you could have four people sitting and eating there you could have somebody in the galley several people in the saloon and the cockpit and the boat still i don't think would feel crowded at all so very well designed princess on the starboard side then We've got uh, an L-shaped galley, which uh, is, is quite good actually, because um, the, the way it's shaped in, I'd feel quite happy if you didn't need to brace yourself in here at sea. No problem at all. Um, on the after bulkhead uh, outboard, we've got the, the cooker, grill and uh, oven there. Um, the top lifts up to give you access to the twin burners there and then drops down again to give you a bit more workspace. Always handy. And I love the way they design these boats for these little handy bits and pieces. We've got a twin sink unit there. And we've got uh, stowage underneath, um, small lockers there for all your bits and pieces, your pots and pans, etc. And then rather nicely on the forward bulkhead there, we have a microwave, which is uh, unusual for a boat of this size, but really, really handy. And don't I wish I had one as well. Yes, all really rather good and uh, plenty of space down here. So let's uh, open this door and I'm going to pick the camera up and move it into what is the head compartment so there we go you're sitting in the head um, not literally you're the camera sitting in the head and uh, you're watching me talk about the head uh, but as you can see if I stand in here there's full head height for me so that, again there's about six feet in here no problem looks like somebody's taken the, uh, the head lining away there probably I uh, think about replacing that and um, we have an electric head here which is rather nice touch of luxury everybody and we've got the the sink here with a shower head too and then outboard we've got the uh, the twin uh, cupboards there for your toothpaste etc etc but uh, all in all again for a boat of this size plenty of room in here you don't feel squashed in or claustrophobic well I don't anyway so uh, yeah really well designed princess so let's pick the camera up once more I'll shut the door to the head and open the door to the forward cabin I'll place you slap bang in the middle of the compartment there so 
There we go boat fans and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're in the forward cabin and it's actually really great space. It's, uh, it's high again, lots of room here, slopes forward slightly, sorry, sorry slopes down slightly as it, as it goes forward but uh, you, your feet or your head would be down there or you'd be laying down so no problem there at all. We have a hatch so uh, ventilation and light can flood in. Um, the, the headlining, somebody's had a go at uh, stapling it back up because it's obviously sagged slightly so maybe a job one day to uh, make that look beautiful again. Um, we've got a great big double berth here, plenty of room, we've got the, the camera sitting on the infill which is this part here which makes it into the double but you could have, uh, you could take this away and have a little bit of separation if you needed but other than that you have a really really nice large quite light quite bright and airy four cabins so yeah very very good indeed and then port and starboard we've got uh, hanging lockers here so one there one there so lots of room to put all your stuff etc etc then even uh, even more around the uh, outside around the periphery of the cabin we've got all these lockers here so again room for your bits and pieces your trinkets your hairbrushes um, pullovers whatever it is you want to put in there but um, again for this boat lots and lots of stowage and I'm really really impressed so that's uh, that's the forward cabin for you I will pick the camera up now and I will take you back to the uh, dining area where we can sum up so there you are back at the uh, Dinner table ready for dinner. Dinner, hoping the uh, hoping the galley bod will be making your beans or your train smash or whatever it is you want to eat. But um, yeah, lots of room down here. Um, we've got uh, forward seating, aft seating for four. This table goes down to make into a double, which is fantastic. We've got the L-shaped uh, galley here, twin sink, proper cooker, decent sized head in there and if you go through this door we've got the really nice sized forward cabin in there as well. If you'd like any more details about this boat please just go to boatshedbrighton.com where you'll find lots more pictures, videos and virtual virtual reality for the rest of this boat. Hope you've enjoyed the tour, it's been great having you along and we hope to see you again soon. Take care!